like I mentioned, today we will continue to discuss on pre-lab experiment 2, Ohm's law. Okay, so the learning outcome for this experiment is at the end of this lesson, students were able to explain the experiment to verify the Ohm's law to determine the effective resistance for series and parallel by the graphic method. Okay, so for this pre-lab, uh, we are going to start with the introduction first. So number one, define what is Ohm's law. Okay, so Ohm's law is actually V equals to IR. Or we can define Ohm's law as the constant temperature, the potential difference across the conductor is directly proportional to the current across the conductor. Okay, so V is equal to IR. Okay, if let's say we sketch the graph V versus I, okay, we will get a, a linear straight graph. Okay, where the gradient here is actually represent the value for resistor. Okay, question number three, what is the quantity which represent the gradient of the graph above? So actually the gradient here is represent, okay, so the gradient here is represent the resistance of the conductor, okay? Okay, here we have uh, the two configurations, configuration A, where configuration A is connected in series, okay? So meaning that R1, R2, R3 are connected in series. Okay, for configuration B, okay, R1, R2, R3 are connected in parallel. Okay, so if let's say R1, R2, R3 are 27 ohm, okay, so we need to find, number 5, we want to find the effective resistance for configuration A and also B. Okay, so for A, if you want to find R effective or R total, okay, R effective actually is R total because it's connected in series, so it's R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, so it's 27 plus 27 plus 27, therefore we will get 81 ohm. Okay, whereas if you want to find resistor which are connected in parallel, okay, so it's 1 over R equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So you substitute inside 1 over 27 plus 1 over 27 plus 1 over 27, therefore R effective. Okay, R effective, we will get 3 over 27, okay, 1 over, okay, so we will get actually 27 over 3, you will get 9 ohm. Okay, so this is the answer for question number 5. Okay, where if you connect it in a series, you will get 81 ohm. If you connect it in parallel, you will only get 9 ohm. Okay, so question number 6, I will not discuss because we cannot see the color of the resistor. So we go uh, uh, straight away to the experiment part. Okay, what is the use of mini emitter and emitter and volt meter in a circuit and how they are connected with the resistor? Okay, so we start with the mini emitter or emitter first. So the functions of mini emitter and emitter is actually to measure the current in the circuit and they should connect it series with the resistor. Okay, however, for volt meter, so it's a measure, it's used to measure the potential difference across the electrical poten electrical component and our volt meter must connect it parallel to the electrical component. Okay? Okay, number nine, in step three of the experiment procedure, you are asked to find the minimum current and the voltage in the circuit. Okay, explain the relevance of this particular step. Okay, why we need to find the minimum and also um, of the current and also voltage, huh? because this step will give us the smaller amount of current and voltage. Okay, so that adequate volume, okay, so that the subsequent value could be manipulated, okay? Okay, number 10. In experiment, mini emitter is used to measure the current in series circuit and emitter is used to uh, measure for the parallel circuit. Okay, so if you connect it in series, you must use uh, mini emitter. However, if you use, if you, however, however, we will use emitter when it's connected in parallel. Okay, why? Because if you connect it in series, okay, the resistor is larger. So when the resistor is larger, the current that can be measured is actually smaller. Okay, because based on the Ohm's law, V equals to IR, okay, and V is constant, meaning that if let's say you want your resistor is greater, your current must be smaller. That's why when you connect it in series, R is greater, therefore the current will be, okay, R here is greater, meaning that the I that we will measure is actually smaller. So it's actually easier us to detect what is the value for the current. Okay, next, if let's say this is a uh, mini emitter, okay, it's suitable use for series circuit. Okay, however, for parallel circuit, the resistor is smaller, okay, so it will produce a larger current, therefore we must use emitter. Okay, so if let's say you use parallel circuit, okay, the R effective is actually smaller, therefore I that we need to use is emitter uh, because I you produce a larger current. Okay, next. 
Okay, see, can explain why only voltmeter is provided instead of milli voltmeter in experiment to measure the voltage. Okay, since the power supply that we use is the range of 4 to 6 ohm, okay, therefore the full scale diffraction should be in the range of the volt and not in a millivolt and sufficient of 5 sets of reading. Okay, how do you determine the sensitivity of the measuring instrument, voltmeter, millimeter, and meter? Okay, so the smallest divisions or the smallest value of the scales is measuring instrument can be read. Okay, so this is the value that we can read uh, from the apparatus that we are using. Okay, next we will proceed to data analysis. For data analysis, equations that we use is V equals to IR, Ohm's law. Okay, okay. so for Y component is actually V, S component is I, and the gradient that we will get is actually the value for R. Okay, therefore, there is no y-intercept. Okay, what is the unit of the gradient? Okay, so actually, we can straight away we write watt per milliampere or we can straight away write kilo ohm. Okay, if let's say it's connected in parallel, we, okay, I can say the unit that we use is in watt per ampere or we can use the really use ohm. Okay, which of the graph is expected to have a bigger gradient, the series or parallel circuit? Okay, so which one do you think they will have a great, okay, greater gradient? Okay, as the gradient is the effective rate resistance of the resistor arrangement, resistor arrangement series has the larger effective resistance. Thus, the gradient V versus I graph for series resistor is larger. Okay, so that's all for this video. Okay, so that's all for this video. We'll continue with the next video. We will discuss on Free Lab 3. Yeah? Okay, so see you on next video. Bye.